hello. Today we are looking at the Surface 2 Duo, uh, a memory card and a USB-C memory card adapter. It's got USB-C at the end, uh, USB oh, 3.0 at the end. Um, I'm going to show you how I uh, get my videos from that card on there onto there. Right, so this is a funky skin that I got from someone's skins, I don't know. You do get the full colour of both sides and you can mix and match what you do. These are a little bit fiddly putting in. Um, that is a bit of a pain to put on, but the rest of it is simple. And it's stayed on. I thought it wouldn't, wasn't going to stay on, but no, it's really good. Right, so we open up that. That's not. I've got to put me a thumbprint on there. All right, important. You've got to put your memory card in your sticky thing first. Let's get it woken up. Pop it in the bottom of the Surface 2 Duo. <clears throat> there we go. We don't want Insta360 to handle it because when you drag down there, there he is down there. So let's see. open it up, press Explore. And there we go. So uh, thinking about where this is going to be because this is out of a Sony camera. Should be in there. I'm going to have a nightmare finding the video in the file now. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's not there. No, oh, hang on. I think it's there in stream. No, it's not. Let's go back there. Mm. Come on. There we go. There he is there. Right. So what you want to do, you can open it up if you like. There we go. Anyway, right. So what I do... I copy, um, I haven't done that right, have I? There we go, copy to, or move to, either or, it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> then we select the Surface Duo, put it in movies, we'll pop it in movies. And it should, there we go, show you how quickly that's... Uh, going over come on so pretty quick right so let's clear that I need to eject this actually um, right of course it's not going to be as easy as it seems let's close that Right, anyway, so that shows you that playing. Let's get rid of that. Um, I need to get rid of that, but I also need to... Uh, 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 I don't know where else it shows up, you know. Connected devices. There we go, there he is up there. So, still no way. <laughs> That's not him, is it? Previously connected, connected, um, yeah, not sure, so I think we're going to do the naughty thing and just unplug it, and hopefully it doesn't destroy my memory card. Oh, there we go, no issue there, right, so I use Video Maker, it's lovely up here, so it will end up opening up like that. I've got loads of other rubbish stuff in here. Um, it, it would be nice if it split screen to screen. I believe that's another update that Android is going to have for this sort of device at some point. Um, we'll pick that one there. Pop him on there. There we go. We've got the video that we imported. That's just around uh, the airship orchestra, I think it was called, in, uh, in Bournemouth. Right, let's add a bit of audio. Um, what should we put? It doesn't really matter. We will use that one because that's probably about the same length as the well, it's a little bit longer, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So we hit the volume, volume for the video. We knock that right down. No, that's volume for the. Right, so we'll keep that there, so we need to select the video, hit the volume on there and knock that right down. Then you've got the video, it should play now with just the music. There we go. So let's turn that off, you can add your animations and all sorts in here. Um, let's go back down. 
because we're going to need to have a look at the filters and then we'll go to adjust i'm probably going to pump the uh contrast up a little bit not the contrast saturation so it just looks really really bright um i'm going to sharpen it a little bit it's a good camera that it's come out of so it should look okay sharpening um not much else i really need to do to this maybe brighten it up a little bit let's have a look yeah a little bit right so i mean that is the app that i like to use um let's just pop him down there for a minute and we'll export that so you can export you get a lot of different uh options here the frame rate is going to go right up it was a 1080 video so it's staying at 1080 um you can put it to 4k if you want let's just see the file size so <laughs> triple the file size right so we are going to save that so then it's converting the video and that probably take about five ten minutes then you can just upload straight to uh lovely youtube anyway thanks like subscribe because i'm getting a bit a few more subscribers now which is really cool because it means i can do some cool videos now um and i've got some other new products on their way so like and subscribe like i said thank you very much